Please remain standing for the invocation given by Ms. Sean Klein Riggins, Professor of Nursing. And please remain standing for the national anthem to be sung by Ms. Whitney Miller, a Southern nursing graduate, and the Pledge of Allegiance being led by Andrew Bias, Eagle Scout Troop 28. Gentlemen, remove your hats, please. Let's bow our heads. Almighty God, we gather tonight to celebrate not only the achievement of educational goals, but to give you richly deserved thanks and praise. We believe all good things come from you, Lord, our creator, sustainer, and friend. Without you, nothing that has been accomplished could have been done. Without your blessing and anointing, everything we do in our lives would be so meaningless. Your presence in this place demonstrates that you want what is best for all your children. You promised to give us a future with hope, and tonight is a fulfillment of that promise. Help our graduates to use the knowledge they have acquired wisely, for knowing what to do with knowledge is wisdom, and that comes only from you. Teach all of us to walk together in the spirit of our respective professions, causing us to be true to you. May your light shine forth on the paths that we've chosen. Give us the vision to see that when we serve the least of these, our brethren, we are really serving you. We invite you now to be with us tonight and consecrate this ceremony to your glory. In your precious name, the name above all names, we pray. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the rain we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Ms. Elise Patterson Diaz, Department Chair for Allied Health and Nursing, will bring the welcome. First Lady of West Virginia, President Joanne Jager Tomlin, Board of Governors Representative, Mr. Thomas A. Haywood, Dr. Alderman, Dean of Career and Technical Programs, Interim Nursing Coordinator, faculty, staff, 
family, and friends. I would like to welcome each of you to the 2013 pinning ceremony for the Department of Allied Health and Nursing. We are about to embark upon a time-honored tradition to celebrate the accolades of the students in attendance this evening. The past two years have been difficult, yet filled with dedication and determination. Everyone here tonight has played a major role in the achievements of the graduates being honored. Graduates, would you please stand? Would you please turn around and face your loved ones? Please give them a round of applause. Graduates, you may be seated. <laughs> Graduates, never forget that without all of the people here tonight, this would not have been possible for each of you. Again, welcome and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you. Bringing greetings from Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College's Board of Governors, we have with us tonight Mr. Tom A. Haywood, Chairman of the Board. Good evening. Madam President, distinguished guests, proud parents, grandparents, siblings, sisters, brothers, children, most of all, students, soon to be graduates. What a glorious occasion it is this evening. It is my great pleasure as chairman of the board of Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College to be with you tonight to celebrate your accomplishment and to think about the exciting future that lies before each of you. On the Board of Governors, we strive to make available the opportunities, the programs, the financial resources, the scholarships, the physical plant that enables students of all ages to succeed on their path to opportunity and prosperity. That's our role, that's our job, that's what we seek to accomplish. But nothing happens without the accomplishment, the dedication, the sacrifice, the effort, the hard work of each of those who sits before us tonight ready to graduate from these programs. We make it possible, but we only make it possible. You make it happen, and for that, all of us here are so proud of you. You represent the best of all of us. I have the privilege of serving on a couple of other boards, including two health system and hospital boards in the state of West Virginia. One that I serve on is the Thomas Health System Board in the Kanawha Valley, which operates Thomas Hospital and St. Francis. I've been on that board for quite a while, and I would share with you this inside information that you should know about Southern and about how we look at each of you. We sit on that board every year and we say Southern produces the best graduates period for health care in the state of West Virginia. It's the truth. We can't get enough of you. If you haven't talked to us, talk to us now. The other thing I want to say to you is, even as you've had accomplishment, understand that you've had setbacks, you've had disappointments, as you've gotten to where you are tonight, which represents accomplishment. You've known probably some things you wish you could have done better. You've known some times when you've maybe lacked confidence and wondered if you could do it, and yet here you are. Keep that attitude going forward. I say that for two reasons. One, healthcare is a constantly changing profession. So your learning does not stop with what you've learned here at Southern. Make us proud and continue to learn and grow in your jobs. You will have wonderful jobs for the rest of your life because of what you've done. 
And the second thing is you will continue to grow and gain experience in your jobs, not just because of the changing face of health care, but because every day, every week, every year on the job, you will become a better person and know more. So use this experience. Remember some of the things that were challenges you didn't think you can do, but now you've done them. And take that same spirit as you go forward. I look forward to watching a lifetime of accomplishment and success. Congratulations to each of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Haywood. It is now my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, the First Lady of the great state of West Virginia and the President of Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College, Ms. Joanne Jager Tomlin. President Tomlin. Good evening. Our congratulations to each and every one of you this evening. It's been a long journey and not without challenges and bumps in the road along the way. You could not be here tonight without the support and encouragement of family and friends. They've been there for you, taking care of the home front while you've burned the midnight oil. From wherever you started, you have survived some of the most difficult circumstances. You've raised families, you've held jobs, and you've completed homework all simultaneously. Don't ever forget the family and friends who have had an important role in your success today. Please know how proud we are of each of you. You are among the best and the brightest in Southern West Virginia, and you have succeeded in programs headed by the finest faculty, staff, coordinators, department chairs, and dean. They are leaders of our college and of their professions. The education you have received is second to none. And while you may not realize that now, you will in the years to come. Our allied health programs are at the forefront of our state and in many cases, our nation. As Southern graduates consistently receive high passage rate scores on licensure examinations. Your degree from Southern will provide you a good paying job and even more enjoyable lifestyle for you and your family. Allied health professionals continue to be sought after throughout the world and the need for trained professionals continues to grow. This evening, you will close one door and open another. Many of you will go directly into the workforce, while others of you will continue your education. Whatever the path you take, realize that learning, the process has only begun, and that learning today is lifelong. I am sure the anxiety of your first day of college still leaves a vivid memory in your mind. The classes you took were not there for the week, including the books that were twice the size of the ones most college students carry. The anxiety of class eventually passed, and then it evolved into stress as the workload piled higher. Sometimes you found yourself asking if it was all worth the effort. And tonight, you realize that it certainly was. Through the pinning ceremony this evening, and as you step on stage tomorrow to receive your diploma, it will symbolize the completion of a journey, a journey which has created you, no longer a student, but a professional. I hope you remember that in life, there is a higher calling. It's just not making a dollar, but making a difference. Take your profession seriously, holding patients' precious lives in your hands and deliver safe and professional care. Do not view it as a job or task, but as a service to others to ensure that they receive the best quality of life. We hope that Southern has had a positive impact on your life. We hope you are as proud of your accomplishments as we are of you. We wish you nothing but success in all your future endeavors. And again, our congratulations 
for a job well done. Thank you. Thank you, President Tomblin. Each year, the faculty select the top students in the program's graduating class to receive awards. This is not an easy task or process because each student sitting here tonight deserves an award. The allied health and nursing programs are difficult and they require time, hard work, sacrifice by the students as well as the family and significant others. Students must be dedicated and committed to the programs. The awards will now be presented by the coordinators and a faculty member from each program. Presenting the award for medical laboratory technology will be the program coordinator, Mr. Vernon Elkins, and faculty member, Ms. Shirley Spriggs Darty. The awards for radiologic technology will be presented by Ms. Eva Hallis, program coordinator, and faculty member, Mr. Russell Saunders. Ms. Judy Curry, program coordinator, will present the awards for surgical technology. And Ms. Dina Barker, faculty member, and I will present the awards for nursing. Good evening. The first award that we're going to give out for the Medical Laboratory Technology Program today is one of clinical excellence. This student showed in her clinical training excellence throughout it. Uh, I heard many good comments and uh, she truly deserves this award. Her name is Chelsea McCann. Will you come up, Chelsea? Next, I have three National Student Honor Awards to give out. I'd like these three students to come to the front for these awards. Kenya Mounts, Michael Charles, and Donna Toller. Okay, while they're up here, I have a couple more awards. Our academic excellence this year, which is the highest grade point average in all of her classes, goes to Donna Toller. <laughs> and the spirit of medical laboratory technology this year goes to Kenya Mounts. Thank you. Radiologic technology, uh, students go to many multiple different clinical sites and we have our staff there evaluate students and choose. So between that and um, Mr. Russell Saunders, the clinical coordinator, selects persons to win this clinical excellence award. This year it goes to Mr. Aaron Perry.
And the highest GPA in this group's graduating um, students of six is Rachel Sue Searles. Thank you. I'm Judy Curry, and I'm going to uh, give out the Surgical Technology Awards. I'd like to also say that Melanie McRoberts assists me in this class. She has been very ill, so those of you who pray, please remember her in your prayers. The uh, first award I have is um, for clinical excellence. And I also uh, have input from the facilities for this award. This goes to Sarah Michelle May. My next award is Academic Excellence. This goes to Andrea Adkins. And my next award is the Spirit of Surgical Technology. Uh, this is an all-around award. This person does very well in clinicals. Uh, this student has done anything I've asked, and she has been very agreeable. Sometimes she's made us laugh, and we've laughed with her, and sometimes we've laughed at her. But she's always been, uh, had a good spirit about it. Courtney Lee Daniels. The first award I would like to present tonight is the Spirit of Nursing Award. And as Judy Curry said, this is the individual that is best all around clinically in the classroom with her fellow students and those at the college. This year's Spirit of Nursing Award goes to Charlene Lambert. Our next award is for clinical excellence. And again, we have input from the faculty, both first and second year nursing and the hospitals. And this year, the clinical excellence award goes to Cortina Stickler.
And the final nursing award is for academic excellence. We are amazed with the student that this award is being presented to. For the first time, we believe in the history of the nursing program, which had the first graduating class in 1974, and definitely in recent memory, because I have been here almost 26 years, this is the first time we have had a nursing graduate with a 4.0 straight A grad, grade point average. <laughs> this is not an easy feat. This award is presented to Amanda Wolford. Each year, the Allied Health and Nursing Coordinators come together to choose the one person from all the programs to receive the Kim Holston Ambassador Award. The Kim Holston Ambassador Award was established in 2005 in memory of our colleague and friend, Kim Holston. This award is presented annually to the student who has exhibited the qualities and traits Kim was known for at Southern. Recipients of the award are recognized for their commitment to the program and their chosen profession. During their time in the program, they must have continually promoted a standard of excellence, both in the classroom and the clinical setting. They are dedicated, caring, compassionate, and demonstrate support to the college and their peers. Ralph Marston once stated, excellence is not a skill, it is an attitude. The individual we are honoring tonight with the Kim Holston Ambassador Award has exhibited an attitude of excellence since the first day she entered the nursing program. Faculty state she is a unique individual who has exhibited the qualities Kim was known to possess. On the first day of clinical rotations, during, during the first year of her second semester in the program, the nurses on the hospital floor where she was assigned clinical rotations asked her name and wanted to hire her on the spot. Every care plan, paper, report, and project she has submitted during the program has been meticulously constructed without error. In other words, her work was excellent. She never had to remediate any of her work. The faculty state they could not ask for a better student, and they will truly miss her. The recipient of the 2013 Kim Holston Ambassador Award goes to Rachel Lee Dotson. As she comes forward, I'll tell you a little bit about Rachel. She is the wife of Andrew Dotson, and she is the daughter of Sally and Anthony Starkey of Danville. Rachel has one brother, Tony Starkey. Come on up. Before beginning nursing classes at Southern, Rachel was a pre-pharmacy student of Marshall University, where she was an active member of the Alpha Chi Omega sorority. She served as vice president for risk management, Vice President for Education and Recruitment, sat on CRIB and CRSB committees, and was a community service advocate. While in the Huntington, she volunteered at local animal shelters, soup kitchens, and at the Battered Women's Shelter. At Southern, Rachel has been president of the 2013 nursing class since entering the program in August 2011. During the past two years, Rachel has also served as student representative on the Nursing Curriculum Development Committee. Rachel has demonstrated leadership, compassion, empathy, and a superior work ethic during her role as class president. 
She has organized class fundraisers to help pay expenses for graduation and their licensure review course, helping to raise approximately $4,000. Rachel has participated in class community service projects such as donating personal hygiene items to the Williamson Woman's Shelter after their budget was cut significantly and donating approximately 100 Christmas stockings to the local Salvation Army for children in need during the hospitals. Rachel has participated in the Logan, West Virginia Autism Walk and is an advocate for autism awareness along with breast cancer awareness. She has been a neonatal intensive care unit nurse extern two since May 2012. And I believe that is the first unit where the nurses asked who she was and they wanted to hire her, right? Yeah, correct. And has accepted a position in the neonatal intensive care unit at Women's and Children's Hospital in Charleston, West Virginia, where she will work as a registered professional nurse upon passage of the NCLEX RN licensure exam. Rachel continually de demonstrates leadership in and out of the classroom. She has a selfless personality and is always putting others before herself. It is with much pride that we name Rachel Lee Dotson as our 2013 Kim Holston Ambassador. Rachel, here's your award. Congratulations. We will now have another musical selection from Ms. Miller.
now is the moment all of you have been waiting for, the pinning ceremony. Each program will present the pin beginning with the medical laboratory technology program. An area to my right, your left, is reserved for picture taking. Please be respectful of others when taking pictures. It is time to recognize the candidates for pinning. Will the candidates please rise? All of you, please, Lord, all the students, everybody. Thank you. President Tomblin, Mr. Haywood, Department Chair Diaz, coordinators, faculty, staff, family, and friends. I present to you Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College's Department of Allied Health and Nursing graduates of 2013. Let's give him a hand. You may be seated. Chad Wooten. Michael Charles. Jesse Queen. Donna Toller. <laughs> Kelly Ray Harmon. <laughs> Chelsea McCann. Shelley Canterbury. <laughs> Bethany Fox. <laughs> Kenya Mounts. Corey Dillon Gibson. Aaron Dale Perry. Robert Thomas Gannon. Wesley Scott Good. Good. 
Rachel Sue Searles. Courtney Ryan Ellis. Andrea Yvette Adkins. Sarah Michelle May. Courtney Lee Daniels. Holly Elizabeth Porter. <laughs> Ashley Leanne Thompson. <laughs> Erica Alicia Hager. Savannah Wellman. <laughs> Stephen Jarvis. <laughs> Amy Curry. <laughs> Angel Lester. Amanda Hurley Wolford. <laughs> Leslie Ann Hager. <laughs> Tia Shay Gint. Samantha Marie Carver. <laughs> Rachel Lee Dotson. Morgan Danielle Justice. <laughs> Amanda Rochelle Nelms. <laughs> Kayla Jeanette Perry. Michelle Lynn Bowen. Larry Parsons. Kayla Lynn Maynard. Bethany Brewer. Yeah. 
Josh Belcher. Letha Nashe Mullins. <laughs> Mary Padunovac. <laughs> Charlene Evelyn Lambert. Kimberly Dawn Dillon. Christopher Shane Mullins. Kyle Bradley Sammons. Tara Dawn Morgan. <laughs> Sabrina Nicole Farley. <laughs> Devin Ryan Owens. Tasha Leanne Campbell. Amber Davis. Emily Stiltner. Summer Destiny Bias. <laughs> Brittany Lee Ball. <laughs> Leah Browning. Christopher Miller. <laughs> Whitney Ray Copley. <laughs> Caitlin Mullins. Laura Sloan. Brenda Lee Gunnels. Cortina Marie Stickler. Hannah Caitlin Atkins. Sarah Beth Dolan. Sasha Smith. Michelle Carey Davis. Ashley Adkins. <laughs> Leanne Adkins. <laughs> Emily Huffman.
Will the Allied Health graduates please stand as Mr. Stephen Hall, Respiratory Care Technology Coordinator, administers the Allied Health Oath. Please repeat after me. In the presence of my colleagues, family, friends, and teachers, I proudly make this solemn vow. I will conduct myself with professional integrity, placing service to others before professional gain. I will treat my patients with empathy, being sensitive to their beliefs, values, and backgrounds, providing care equal in quality and compassion. I will honor the privacy of those seeking my help, using their health care information and that which they reveal. in confidence, solely to support their treatment. I will continuously strive to learn of the advancements in my field, embracing new techniques and technologies that will improve my patient's experience. This I do swear freely and upon my honor, as I commit myself to my service through my profession. Thank you, Stephen. You may be seated. Will the nursing graduates please stand as Ms. Shelva Workman, Associate Professor of Nursing, administers the Nightingale Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous, and mischievous, and will not take or knowingly administer, and will not take or knowingly administer any, harmful any harmful drug. I will do all in my power, I will do all in my power to, maintain to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession, and will hold in confidence all personal matters Committed to, my keeping. committed to my keeping and all family affairs, and all family affairs coming, to my knowledge, coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. Of my calling. With, loyalty, With loyalty I will endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. One more time. May God give you hands that heal and hearts that care always. Thank you, Shelba. You may be seated. I would like to thank each of you for coming tonight to celebrate the success of our graduates. Without you, this day would never have been possible. To the graduates, go out into the world and make us proud. Tomorrow, you will no longer be students. You will be our colleagues. 
you are all to be commended for your accomplishments. I would like to leave you with one final thought from a great author, Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the one who will decide where to go. Good luck in the future and please never forget Southern. Also, please don't forget to come to commencement tomorrow, 10 a.m. right here. We expect to see all your smiling faces. I would be remiss if I did not thank a few members of the um, faculty, staff, and those of us who have helped us tonight. First, I would like to thank the members of the Penning Committee. As I call your name, will you please stand? Judy Curry. <laughs> Sheila Elkins. <laughs> Stephen Hall. Elise Patterson Diaz and Susan Wolford. I would like to thank President Tomblin for all of her support of the programs. I would all yeah, that's all right. I would also like to thank Carol Cole, Marcus Gibbs, Mike Baldwin members of the television studio, Randy Skeens and his employees. Without these individuals, this event would not be possible. I would also like to thank the Gideons for the presentation of your Bibles this evening. But most importantly, there's a group of people here that I have not thanked and that you all should thank the faculty, the coordinators, and the staff of the Allied Health and Nursing Programs. Will you please stand? <laughs> Have a safe trip home, and may God bless you now and in the future. Please stand for the benediction given by Ms. Regina Bias, Professor of Nursing, and remain standing during the recessional as the graduates leave. It is very important to keep the aisles open so all can exit the auditorium. Thank you. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Heavenly Father, we have been blessed yet again by your presence tonight. As these graduates leave this chapter of their lives and enter the health field of their choosing, may your grace and compassion be instilled in each one. May they find fulfillment and experience your peace by serving others. And may they be reassured and strengthened by the knowledge that by serving those who are sick or in crisis, they are ultimately serving you. Let them remember that whatsoever they do, to do it as unto the Lord. We ask for traveling mercies as we leave this place. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>